Welcome to the Extension Network. My name is Kathleen McElroy and I am the host of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And this is for one million clover bucks. And today our contestant is Brittany Lee. Hi. Hi, welcome. Thanks for having me on the show today. It's always been my dream to be on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Oh, so wonderful. See how it goes today. So you are shooting for one million clover bucks, and you know how the game is played. I do. Okay, so you have three lifelines, the 50-50, you can phone a friend, and you could also ask the audience, okay? okay. All, All right. right. Um, so I have heard from a little bird that <laughs> you have been known to chase chickens. Yes, so I grew up in 4-H. I have always been a member of 4-H. I started in the fifth grade um, when the 4-H leader came to my school, and I was very active through middle and high school, and I even participated in collegiate 4-H. Well, as I you know, grew older and began to be um, more involved in the program, I coach a poultry judging team, which I know we do have here in Cobb County, okay. and I, I coached it um, in my previous county as well. But poultry judging, what we do is the kids get the opportunity to learn how does egg production work? How does it work going from the chicken all the way to the grocery store? So our 4-H poultry judging team, they can go to the local grocery store and pull out that carton of eggs and say, hey Kathleen, this really is a grade A egg or this is not a grade A egg. And they also get to handle the white legroom production hens and they're able to handle the hens to see is this hen a good layer or is she not a good layer? Mm -hmm. So it's a really fun activity. So one day we were practicing our live birds, which is where the kids handle them and they handle the birds and they get to see, okay, is she bleaching? Is she losing that pigment? Is she a good layer? Is she laying lots of eggs? Well, one of my 4-H'ers, you know, he was very, very nervous with holding the bird and I was showing him how to do it. And little Miss Hen got excited and started flapping her wings. And of course, when the bird starts flapping her wings, that made him nervous. Got to made me nervous, even though I I've bet. been doing it for years. Uh -huh. Next thing I know, our friend, was hopped off the, off the table and she started running through the parking lot. So here we are watching this little hen <laughs> run across the park parking lot and she's ducking and dodging from us and we're all chasing her. She's going through the, the trees and the bushes and we're crawling in the bushes to get this bird. So okay. it was fun. We were sweating. It was hot, but we got her. The kids still learn poultry judging, but I'm a professional chicken chaser, I'd yeah. like to say. All right. Well, we will. Um, we are glad to have a professional chicken chaser on our show today. And today you are playing for a million clover bucks. Are you ready for your first question? I'm ready to play. All right. Excellent. So, for a hundred dollars, your first question is: 4-H is an is an organization that serves whom? A birds, B cats, C dogs or D, kids in car kindergarten through 12th grade? Okay, well, I know you threw the birds in there because you thought that, you, that would get me since I'm a professional chicken chaser. Mm -hmm. But for me, that is an easy one. I'm gonna go with D, kids in kindergarten through 12th grade. All right, you've got that right. So you've got $100, good job, all right. So, ready for number two? Let's go. All right, ready. $200. What are the official 4 H colors? A, maroon and white. B, yellow and blue. C, green and white. Or D, red and black. I know for a fact it's not maroon and white. No, maroon and white, that's Mississippi State colors. That's not our land grant okay. university here I, okay. in Georgia. So, I'm going to go ahead and eliminate that. All right. Um, but that's tough because you put in there green and white and red and black. Okay and red and black are the Georgia Bulldog colors, mm -hmm. right? And 4-H is a part of the University of Georgia because it's the land grant here in our state. And we, we do a lot, of, I see a lot of red and black with 4-H here in Georgia. But then I know like that green and white, you've got the green okay, up here. Okay, you've got to give us an answer. Oh gosh, but I'm not ready to use a lifeline. You get, it's, it's time okay. to give us an answer. All right, I'm gonna lock in with green and white. All right, you picked C, green and white. You have $200. All right. All right, ready to move up. Okay. For $300, 4-H has what are called in-school club meetings. What hands-on activities do fifth graders get in these meetings? A, build birdhouses. B, make bookmarks. C, do science activities. Mm. Or D, brush their hair. 
I'm going to go with C, do science activities, because since it's a partnership with the school system, um, I would think that the 4-H leaders that are going in are working with the teachers to supplement what they're doing in school, and the thing that makes the most sense to me would be that science. All right. Is that your final answer? I'm going to lock in. That's my final answer. All right. $300? You are there. All right. Good job. Very good. Some of the other things that Cobb 4-H does for the schools, uh, they uh, do this really cool lesson where the kids can extract DNA from strawberries. Wow. So that goes with your science answer. And something a little different, they actually do a program called Less Stress on the Test where they teach kids healthy coping skills to kind of prepare them for milestones and any other quizzes or tests uh, that they have throughout the school year. So I love that. Forage does a lot here in Cobb County. Very good. Okay. All right. For $500, during 4-H club meetings, kids get to do something called Project Achievement. What is Project Achievement? A, a race around the world. B, an outdoor sporting event. C, an acrobatic competition, or D, a public speaking competition? Okay. This one, I know. This one's super easy for me because when I was a 4 h -er back when I was in the fifth grade, I participated in a public speaking competition. I'm almost positive it was project achievement. So when I was in fifth grade, my 4-H leader came to my school and she told me, hey, you can do any topic of your choice as long as you give a four to six minute speech. And I was like, all right. So at the time, I really wanted a pet and I knew my mom wouldn't get me a dog. So I thought the perfect pet was something small, compact, I could keep it in my room, was a hamster. So I did all of my research, found my credible resources. I wrote my speech, my four to six minute speech. I made a poster, just like your lovely poster as well, on hamsters. And I competed and I placed third. And it was a public speaking contest. And I even did it in middle school and high school. So what? I'm positive that project achievement is a public speaking competition. Can't stop me. Public on this speaking one. competition. All right, you've got it. Five hundred dollars at question number four. Very good. You're moving on up. All right. So we are jumping to a thousand dollars. For four H works with community partners. Partners include the Cobb County Public Library System, Cobb EMC, and Cobb County Farm Bureau. What do these partners do to help four H? A support clubs special events, competitions, and more, B, provide dance partners, C, travel through time, or D, provide special courses on how to cast magical spells. Hmm. Now remember, we do have these lifelines, and you still have all three of them at this point. Okay, and I haven't heard too much about the partnerships with Cobb County 4-H, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and use a lifeline. I just, okay. I think it'll make it easier for me to try to do it, you know, answer what I can. Okay. So which lifeline would you like to use? Um, so I have 50-50, phone a friend, or ask the audience. I'm just going to start with 50-50. I think that process okay. of elimination might help me. All right. So what's left is A, support clubs, special events, competitions, and more, or C, travel through time. Okay. That, that's helpful. Okay. I'm going to go with the, the first choice with um, supporting specialty clubs. Okay. I hope I'm right. You're at $1,000. You've got that right. All right. So the library system, Cobb EMC, Cobb County Farm Bureau, they support clubs, special events, competitions, and a whole lot more with the Cobb County library system. 4-H does 4-H yoga, yoga for kids and lots of other activities. Cobb EMC has different programs that help the community. And Cobb County Farm Bureau has the Young Farmers Club. That's okay. great. So Those partnerships sound wonderful. It is excellent for our local youth. Um, all right, so you're at $1,000. You did use up one lifeline there, <sighs> so you have two more left. That's true. Okay. So you're at $2,000. Each year, Cobb 4 Hers work to make tie blankets for this Cobb County group. Mm -hmm. A, Kennestone Hospital. NICU babies, B, Cobb Extension staff, mm -hmm. C, local rescue rabbits, or D, none at all, 4-H'ers don't make blankets. Ooh, okay. Well, I know when I was growing up in 4-H, we would make blankets and they had a project called Project Linus and we would make the blankets for the babies, but I'm sure some rescue rabbits wouldn't mind having blankets too. Sure. 
So but, what do you think? All right, can you read my choices one more time, One Kathleen? more time, and then you're going to have to give us an answer. Okay? Got it. Um, a, Kennestone Hospital, NICU Babies. B, Cobb Extension Staff. C, Local Rescue Rabbits. Or D, none at all, 4-H'ers don't make blankets. Okay, I know 4-H'ers do make blankets, so that can't be the correct answer. I think I'm going to lock in with A, the Kennestone NICU Babies, because that has to be something similar to what I did growing up in 4-H. You are correct. You're at two thousand dollars. Very good. All right, moving on up moving here. Moving on up here. All right. So we're at four thousand dollars for four thousand dollars. What do the four H's in four H stand for? A. Hats, hugs, hay, and ham. <laughs> B. Head, heart, hands, and health. C. Hovercraft, Humvee, houseboat, and helicopter. Or D. Harmony, hedgehogs, hibernate, and hamburgers. This one I feel very confident on. I'm definitely going to get this $4,000. I'm going to lock in with head, heart, hands, and health. Is that your final answer? Totally my final answer. All right, $4,000 for 4-H. Four okay, right. you got all the 4-H's. Like very good. All right, right now we're going to take a commercial break. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Extension Network. I'm Kathleen McElroy with Who Wants to Be a Millionaire for a Million Clover Bucks. And we have our contestant here, Brittany Lee. And she has actually already earned, oh gosh, she I, earned four, she had four thousand four thousand dollars. Okay. Yes. So she is climbing on up. Great. We're at eight thousand dollars. So for eight thousand dollars. Or you can go home with four thousand dollars. All right. So if you uh -huh. get this right, you're going to move up to okay. eight thousand okay. dollars. Okay. In Georgia, 4-H, there are five 4-H centers where Cobb County 4-Hers can camp each summer. They are Wasiga 4-H Center, Georgia 4-H at Je Camp Jekyll, Burton 4-H Center on Tybee Island, Fortson 4-H Center, and what fifth 4-H Center? Your choices are A. Rock Hawk 4-H Center. B. Rock On 4-H Center, C, Rock City 4-H Center, or D, Rock Eagle 4-H Center. Okay. All right. As much as I would like to rock on, um, I do have some very fond memories of this place. When I was in the fifth grade, one of my first summer camp experiences was, was at Rock Eagle. And we had a lot of fun. I went canoeing. There was archery. There were two swimming pools. We did putt-putt slip and slide and I met lifelong friends which ironically I'm actually still friends with some of these lovely ladies today that I met that summer at Rock Eagle. So I'm going to lock in. I know for a fact just because that place is near and dear to my heart and it's like it's just like home when I go there. So I'm going to lock in with Rock Eagle. All right. That is the answer. Rock Eagle 4-H Center for $8,000. All awesome. right. Did you chase chickens at Rock Eagle 4-H Center? I luckily did not have to chase okay. chickens. All I had to do was just chase my friends when we were playing tag and running to the swimming pool. So right. no chickens in that No experience. chickens there. Okay. All right. Now at $16,000. Are you ready for this? I think I'm ready. Okay. Middle school 4-H youth can attend two specialty camps during the summer that focus on the outdoors. Wilderness Challenge Camp at Wasiga which focuses on high ropes, white water rafting, and roughing it outdoors. And this camp held at Burton 4-H Center at Tybee Island. Okay. So the choices are, remember you still have two lifelines left. Okay. The choices are Marine Resources Camp, Summer Waves Camp, Kitty Pool Camp, and Coastal Sand Camp. Hmm. Now, not as familiar with this one, so I think I'm going to have to use a lifeline. Can I call a friend for this one? Is this something that I can do? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Go for it. All right. So I think that for me, I'm going to call my old 4-H leader, Dr. Lori Bledsoe, 
because anything about 4-H, she knows it. Okay. So she bleeds green. I think she's going to be the one for me. All right. Well, All let's right. hope that she can help you win this $60,000. I hope so, because I need, this, I okay. need these clover Give her a call. Bucks. Okay. Hey, Dr. Lori. Hey, it's Brittany. So I am so lucky to be here with Kathleen and I'm on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And all of the questions are, are featuring 4-H and I need your help. So there's a question that I'm totally stuck on. So Kathleen, can you help me with that question one more time? All right, listen up, Dr. Lori. Middle school 4-H youth can attend two specialty clubs during the summer that focus on the outdoors. Wilderness Tum Challenge Camp at Wasiga, which focuses on high ropes, whitewater rafting, and roughing it outdoors. And this camp held at Burton 4-H Center on Tybee Island. Brittany has four choices, Marine Resources Camp, Summer Waves Camp, Kitty Pool Camp, or Coastal Sand Camp. You have 20 seconds to help her out. Got it, Marine Resource Camp. Are you sure? Are you sure? I don't want to lose this money. Okay, I'm trusting you. Thank you so much. I appreciate your help on this. All right, thanks. Bye. Okay, let's go ahead and have your answer. What did All right. Dr. Lori Do say? Dr. Lori said that I need to lock in on Marine Resources Camp. She was positive about it. I'm keeping my fingers crossed, Kathleen. All right, is that your final answer? That's going to be my final answer. I'm trusting All right. her. You've got it. Sixteen thousand oh. dollars. Thank good you, choice Dr. Lori. Yes, Thank good you. Choice. All right. We are at thirty-two thousand dollars. There are two statewide conferences that are held each fall for middle and high school youth at Rock Eagle. The middle school conference is called Junior Conference. What is the name of the high school conference held each December? Okay. So your choices are. Senior Showcase, all right, that's A, okay. Senior Showcase, B, Fall Forum, Okay. C, December Classic, or D, Winter Break Conference. Okay, so this is something new to me. So can you tell me what, what are these middle and high school conferences? Okay, well, all right. I know you can't tell me I, much. I can but. tell you a little bit, a little bit. Um, for each of these conferences, it's a great opportunity for the kids to experience 4-H and the beautiful Rock Eagle 4-H Center. They get to meet kids from all over the state of Georgia. These are other 4-Hers, and they have a blast with different types of activities, community service. Remember the hands for the 4-Hers, so community service. Right. They get special presentations, keynote speakers, and of course, a dance um, to top it all off. That's always fun. Okay. All right. I know typically 4-H, they don't have things during the winter breaks because they want 4-Hers um, to spend time with their families. I don't think that's going to be winter break conference. December Classic, that's not a bad guess. Senior Showcase, you've got ninth graders, so I don't know, but then they say senior 4-Hers are ninth through 12th graders, but they do more than just showcasing. They're learning, there's a dance. So I'm going to throw Senior Showcase out. So all I have left is Fall Forum, and it happens during the fall or S December classic. Just gonna toss it up on this one. My guess is going to be fall forum. That's what my gut's pulling me towards. All right, is that your final answer? I think For so. $32,000, you're almost there. <sighs> I hope I don't pick wrong. That's, I'm locking in, fall okay. forum. It's B, fall forum. All right. All right very good. Okay, $64,000. Woo. All right, I know. I'm, Chase it. I'm chasing that Chase money. I'm clover starting to sweat. I want clover bucks. to chase yes. those clover bucks. Not chickens, clover bucks. No right. chickens. Right. Chasing the, all the money now. Okay, $64,000. Four H's across the state collect this item to be recycled to donate the proceeds to the Ronald McDonald House charities. A, box tops. B, bottle caps. C, pop tabs. Or D, jar lids. Okay. This one I feel pretty confident about because this is something that Georgia 4-H has been doing for years because I remember doing this when I was a 4-H'er growing up. So pretty sure it's pop tabs because we used to collect the soda can tabs off of our aluminum cans, soup cans, and I would collect them in Ziploc bags and then I would take them to my 4-H office and they would recycle them. And from what I remember, if I'm thinking correctly, they would recycle the aluminum tabs and 100% of the proceeds went to the Ronald McDonald House. And they told us that the Ronald McDonald House 
they were homes that were built next to children's hospitals so that when the families had children that were sick for long periods of time and they had extended stays at the hospitals, the families could go to these houses, they could get a hot shower, get a hot meal, they could lay in a nice bed, they didn't have to sleep on, you know, the not so comfy recliners at the hospital. And I'm almost positive this has to be the same program, right? Right? What is your choice? What is your choice? I think it's the same program. I think I'm going to lock in Kathleen with pop tabs. You're making me nervous. All You're not right. telling, your facial expressions aren't telling me one way or so the other. This is for $64,000. Um, you're locked in your answer. You've locked in your answer. Okay. Pop tabs, right? It is pop tabs. All right. All right. You you make me nervous with your facial no. expressions. I need you to That's give my me job. Oh, you're right. You're That's right. My job. That is your job. As the host of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. You're right. For you're right. One million clover bucks. Clover okay. bucks. Okay. One hundred twenty-five thousand um, dollars. There are many specialty clubs in Cobb County 4-H. One of which is the 4-H Horse and Pony Club. This club coordinates a fall horse show annually at GB Stables, learns equine knowledge, participates in horse judging and hippology, and competes in this Jeopardy style 4-H contest. So your choices are A, Horse Knowledge Quest, B, Horse Jeopardy, C, Horse and Pony 101, or D, Horse Quiz Bowl. Okay. All right. Can't be Horse Jeopardy, because you said Jeopardy can't get me there. You said Jeopardy in the question, so I'm going to completely eliminate that. Horse and Pony 101, that seems more informational and not like a contest, so I'm going to eliminate that as well. So that leaves me with a Horse Quiz Bowl, and was it Horse Knowledge? Horse Knowledge Quest. quest. Horse Knowledge Quest. I believe I've had some friends that have competed in some of the horse contest. I'm almost positive they competed in horse quiz bowl. That is ringing a bell to me, not horse knowledge quest. Is that your answer? Is that what you, what, is that where you want to go with that? I think I'm going to go with the horse quiz bowl okay. because that, that's what's ringing a bell to me. I think I'm going to lock in. Gonna lock in. That's I'm your gonna final answer? In. Okay. That's my final answer. You've got it. Horse quiz bowl. You're $125,000 in. That's right. great. I'm getting so this excited. Is good. This I'm is climbing good. up this, climbing this up. ladder. And you didn't have to chase chickens I for it. I did it. That's great. Exactly. Okay. Um, now, Cobb Forage, I did want to tell you, has the Horse and Pony Club, but they have other specialty clubs, which is awesome. Really? They have the Young Farmers Club with Cobb County Farm Bureau, where the kids learn about how, how to produce their own food through gardening. They also get to meet some different types of animals. We also have the Cooking Club where kids get to wow. learn how to make meals. We also have Clover Buds, which is for kindergartners, first graders, second graders, and third graders. Okay. So it's for like the little ones there. Uh, we also have the homeschool group. So we have a homeschool group that actually meets at the extension office. So very good. That's some great Lots specialty of clubs. Great specialty clubs with Cobb County 4 H. That's Absolutely. exciting. Yeah. All right. You sweat a little bit. You're at two fifty now. I know. Two hundred fifty thousand dollars. So close. All I'm right. so close. Let's chase down that million dollars. Let's do it, okay. Kathleen. Okay. Two hundred fifty dollars. Okay. Two hundred fifty thousand dollars. I was about to say I'm yeah, past I'm that. Sorry. That yes, was down I'm here. So We're up here. <laughs> You're doing very well. Thank you. All right. During school breaks, Cobb County 4-H 7th through 12th graders can participate in a community service activity followed by a fun activity to enjoy with fellow 4-Hers. Name this Cobb 4-H activity. Give back for 4-H day, that's A. B is service and fun day. C is pledge our hands day. And D is national giving day. Now remember, you do have one more lifeline left. That's to ask the audience. Mm -hmm. Gosh, but what if I need that lifeline next or for a million? But this doesn't sound very familiar to me, so I don't feel as confident about this one as I did for the other ones. But I don't want to use my last lifeline, but I think I'm going to have to use it. I'm going to have to okay. use my last lifeline. All right. All right. Can we so ask the audience, Ready to please? ask the audience? Okay. Yeah. All right. So audience, go ahead and use your pads to put in A, B, C, or 
D, A, B, C, or D to help Brittany Lee out here, our contestant. Yes, can you read the choices one more time All right, for me? So A is give back for 4-H day, B, service and fun day, C, pledge our hands day, okay. or D, national giving day. We have the results. Thank you, audience. Thank you. Well, you, I don't know if you want to thank them yet. Oh, gosh, you're okay. right. Um, so 10% say A, give okay. back for 4-H day. Okay. And 90% say B, service and fun day. Okay. All right, audience. I'm going to go with what you all said. I'm going to trust that 90% of you got it correct. I'm trusting in you to help me get this $250,000. I'm going to lock in with what the audience said. 90% is a pretty high percentage. Lock in with B, service and fun day. You've got two hundred fifty thousand dollars. That's great. Thank you, now audience. You can thank the audience. Yes, yeah, I know. I was thanking them before because I knew they were going to come through. But okay. now I can double thank you. Thank you for your help in getting me these two hundred fifty thousand clover books. Let's keep All my right. fingers crossed for the rest. Let's keep rolling. Let's keep rolling. Okay. All right, Brittany, you're ready for half a million dollars. You're half playing for half a million dollars. Yes. All right. Here's a question. Cobb County 4-H has two shooting sports teams for 4-H youth. Name these two shooting sports teams. A, BB and air pistol. B, air rifle and nerf gun. C, archery and shotgun. Okay. Or D, sporter rifle and airsoft. Okay, this one I know for sure because of some friends. I'm gonna go with C, I think it was archery and shotgun. Archery and shotgun, you've got it. Half a million right. dollars, half a million dollars. That's All great. right, before we get to a million dollars, I want to show you. We actually do have the check written out here right. for you for a million clover bucks. So this is the big one. Okay. Um, all right. Well, Let's we, do it. All right. Here we go. This general 4-H club for 4th through 12th grade youth meets monthly on the first Tuesday of every month at the extension office. This general club is led by officers and is where you find out all the happenings in Cobb County 4-H. For one million dollars, name this club. A, Clover Buds, B, County Council, C, General 4-H Club, okay. D, Hands, Hearts, Hands, Health Club. Okay. It makes me so happy to know that y'all put a question in here that I feel super confident about. Well, you, you're confident. Well, if you get this million dollars, what do you think you would do with this million Clover Bucks? Honestly, I'm going to take this million Clover Bucks and I'm going to donate it right back into the program that means so much to me. Um, which is 4-H. So it'll go right back into Cobb County 4-H because I know that Cobb County 4-H is doing some great work for the youth of our community. So I'm going to lock in because I know this answer and I can't wait to get this check from you. Lock in with County Council. That's correct. That's you have won one million Clover Bucks. You're going to send lots of kids to summer camp, Thank project you. achievement. So congratulations. Thank you congratulations. so much. Thank you, audience. Thank you, Dr. Lori. And thank you for the 50-50 to help me get there. You've got it. So if you want to learn more about Cobb 4-H, you can call our office at 770-528-4070. You can also check out our website. You know our website. It's yes. ugaextension.org backslash Cobb. You can also come by our location, 678 South Cobb Drive in Marietta. We're on the second floor. Thank you for joining us for the Extension Network.